<laughs> All right, Kev, here we go. Bottom right-hand corner of Belshir Vestige, the red Protoss player from Invictus Gaming. His name is Maxed. And Maxed's opponent in the top left-hand corner. Our, our good buddy. The Dobler Effect. In full motion. And his ghost user. Thanks to everybody that tweeted me the proper explanation of the, of the Doppler Effect, <laughs> which is the phenomenon that exists when uh, a sound, uh, a high-frequency sound, ben. seems louder than it actually is. Ben. I think that Ghost, isn't that what he did against me? I think we're going to Is he the doing the, the 16 slowling? I think... No, he's going to do something different. That's, oh, no, this is Extracted Trick, maybe? Because he doesn't have Overlord yet. Okay. I think he might be actually doing uh, making 16 slow links and then pulling the drones and trying to no, win like that. Why would he be getting gas? He's not canceling that extract. Unless okay. he's going to do a double trick. He is. And then cancel them both? Nope, nope he's, he's going to keep gonna one. Keep one. Hmm. Well, then I don't know yet what Gussie is going to do. He said he had a better all-in than that one, so probably a slight variant on it. I don't know, Ben. I'm very curious to see how Maxed is going to open. Most of the time, he does make a Zealot, certainly after that one game on Whirlwind. I love the diversity we're seeing out of Ghost User, though. He's switching it up a lot, making himself a very, very unpredictable Zerg. And those are the scariest Zergs, Ben. Same can be said for Protoss, but still. Queen before making any units. What is this build? It's, uh, maybe it's the Happy Zerg build. You need double gas, double... <laughs> Ukraine star. Oh, Ukraine star, sorry. <laughs> Man, why did I say Happy Zerg? For the, the, hap the Happy Zerg build is, is the, the muscular physique of the yeah. world's most handsome StarCraft player. For the people who are unfamiliar with the Ukraine star build, Ukraine star once con uh, convinced me that on Cloud King the, the best thing was to just make like three hat trees and then only make Zerglings, just send 48 speed links across the map. And he said, it's best build. The only way you defend is double gateway, double forge, double pylon, and double cannon. It's very hard. And I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, and then he finished second in WCS Ukraine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, the, I think WCS Ukraine finals were between Bly and White, right? No. Well, Ukraine star was... He, yeah. f he finished well in that event, I, if I recall correctly. Uh, speed's on the way. The first Zerglings are out. Uh, and you know what? Maybe Ghost User has realized something important, as Max said seems to be cutting the Zealot. He is but not... But he didn't do that on Whirlwind. Oh my god. You know, Max said, you're going to have a rough time. Max said's not going to scout. He's going to send that probe back mm. to mine in the main base. Everything, on the, low ground is out. A, everything on the low ground is a waste of money. He is going to chrono boost out the sentry. Is that Actually, that might no. be... You know, he should already give up on defending this. Like, you're not going to defend this anymore. What he's going to have to worry about is defending his main. If he keeps his main alive, then he's going to be in a fantastic position. Uh, sentry is out. If he gets another sentry immediately... No, no. I think... Uh, this is like, you're not going to keep this yeah, alive. So the, the, the natural dies... Oh, wait. Can, uh, high ground, high ground, high ground. Oh, oh it's got to be so close. And... Uh, no, right. the, look at the circle. The probe is going to help out so much, but he's not going to be... Maybe a wall-off. Maybe like a pylon wall-off. Does he have money for that? Cancel. He needs to cancel the gateways. That's a really hard call to make. Because he's like, where's my money? Nexus he has a wall-off. Oh, my God. If he buys enough time to get this second century out, that's the hold of the century. But even still, Kevin, I don't believe that it's a hold. Why is it not a hold? These 10 workers ahead. This is fantastic but, by Max. So yeah, you're right. He's held. He hasn't died. That's that's great. But I, I feel like Mike can start to drone now. Yeah, but he doesn't have a natural. Oh, 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 okay, he's not there yet. But poor little bit of pros. Okay, he's definitely gonna lose a few sentries. Does he have photon of charge? Yes, he does. Lose a few ah. probes, not too many. Nah, this was fantastic by Max. This really was. I think this was beautiful. Well, yeah, he's, he's... I am he's, mad you don't appreciate the beauty uh, listen, of this I think it's I think it's great that he's not dead. I think that's very impressive, but I'm also not convinced that he's won this game yet. No, I, I didn't say that, but he's far from out of it. And I actually, you know, he has a reasonable position. He's up six workers. He's going to be in three gates. He has a little bit of tech. It's it's going to be a little tricky for him to take his... Stargate. To, to take his natural. The, uh, the reason why is, guys, of course, we don't have fo uh, fog... Or, yeah, we don't have fog of war. So for us, it's very easy to see... Ah, Ghost user is uh, macroing up behind. No, actually, he's not. Oh, okay, so now if Mike continues making lots and lots of units, I so think this uh, is Maxed's why position gets exponentially better. Yeah, this is but this is why Maxed has to worry. You know, either you play greedy or not. 
he didn't play it very greedy yet. He's been very uh, slow and methodical about this. He is going to drop the Nexus right now. He doesn't really have that much money that he can just, uh, you know, make another wall. Because he's definitely going to need a wall, no matter how many sentries you have. He is on three gates. Only two of them are morphed. And it seems like Ghost Use is going to be like, ah, I'm not sure about... You know, he has 18 links, but uh, with three gateways and a four sentries on the map already, two zealots, I think he will be able to keep this Nexus alive. Well, we're going to see. Here we go. Unless he's worried about what oh. else is coming. He keeps it alive. Yeah. He, I, I, man. Uh, I think uh, I think this is great for, for Max Ed now. I think Ghost User's commitment to making more units might have been um, a mistake as he doesn't really gain anything from that. He is droning now, and, and by the time the uh, yeah. these next this next round of drones pops, he's going to have a worker lead. Of course, but, but he doesn't have his any tech. He Correct. doesn't have any gas. He has no signs of a turret yet. Uh, other than his speed links, that's pretty much all he has. While well, Maxit is a little bit more yeah, established, he has a Stargate out. Those 18 extra links were a bit unnecessary, I think. Had yeah. those all been drones, I think Mike's in a pretty good position. I agree with you on the fact we saw Phoenix killing an Overlord. Uh, but you know what I tried to say before that happened? Is that when you are defending something like this as a Protoss, you I don't want to retake your turn because like, hey, if this turns into a macro game and I play too safe, I'm going to fall too far behind. Or... You, you drop the Nexus immediately and then you die against an additional wave of Zerglings and you just hate yourself and you hate life because if your sentries get caught out of position once, uh, it is really tricky. So, um, you know, I didn't mind that much that he was making those extra links, but then I do feel like if you want to do it, then just go yeah. all out. But, you know, in the end of the day, he didn't cancel the Nexus or he didn't surround sentries. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. not sure why he's making a layer. Maybe he can make Hydra list because he's going to go Muta. No, he, does, he knows about the Phoenixes. Oh, the the phoenix, there's two phoenixes. Yeah, but he doesn't have economy to like overwhelm the phoenix count. I know what you're thinking, because you can definitely make mutalisk against phoenixes, and this might sound really stupid to some people. But one of the oldest tricks in the books is that you sit on 70 drones, and then you go up to 2,000, 2,000, and then suddenly you make 20 mutalisk against four phoenix. And hey, I love my position, but with the economy that Ghost User has right now, Ben, that's really not an option. Yeah, I guess you're probably right. He's only on uh, four gas. He is taking his third base. His drone count is. Uh, pretty good. He's got his two base saturation, but Maxet has been chrono boosting the heck out of probes, and he is not that far behind. Uh, army supply as well. This is 20 army supply, and that might not seem like a big deal, but uh, it kind of is. And because this has been such a low eco game, this is where Phoenixes excel, in my opinion. You know, if you go up against three base Zerg and all the hatcheries, and they're just like all the time, there are eight, nine drones in production, but that is not the case at all. More drones will morph into spore crawlers. Right now, every drone, as I often say, is worth their weight in gold. You can see Ghost User perhaps a little bit upset having four, uh, you know, four drones on this one. Yeah, he only should, having two he should notice it now. Yeah, he fixes it. Okay. So, uh, it's it's still close, although I think yeah. Maxed's position is getting much, much better. Uh, he's, we see a Void Ray coming out, Robo's going down. So we're going to have both the Mortals and Void Rays out on the map for yeah. Maxed against the Roach Army of Ghost User. This is going to be two base, or...? Uh, that's what I'm not so sure about. He's still probes. probing, but it looks like... Well, he I might, mean, he he might be thinking that. third. He took it third, seriously, right? Uh, other than uh, the, the last map, Frost, where he faked it. Yeah, that's right. Ghost it, user it got the sixth flank. It hurts when they fake it, man. You think you're doing a good job, and then they fake it. <laughs> I'm talking about scouting. That's what I was thinking about, <laughs> too, man. <laughs> like, yeah, I see what's going on. See the Nexus going down. This time it is not a fake. Robo Bay more than halfway done as well. A lot of roaches in production. And you know, roaches is pretty reasonable against the army's composition that's on the map right now. There is a Void Ray, of course. Void Rays are scary. But as long as there are not uh, a couple of Immortals waiting on every base, there's definitely something that you can do with roaches. I wouldn't mind to see him go all out on roaches, man. Just go crazy with the roach. And I think that's what he wants to do, man. I think it's right his only option. It. Getting tunneling claws as well yeah. as... Uh, does he already have roach speed? I guess so. Yeah, he does. Yeah, right. But he doesn't have burrow, does he? He no, okay, yeah, he has he everything. Never mind. I'm, I'm crazy. So, Phoenixes are idling above those roaches. So, Maxit kind of knows that this is coming. What I think would be really smart for Maxit if he gets a little richer is wall this off. So, he only has to worry about like this area. You can always just leave two immortals behind the gateway wall. Um, but he's not that rich yet. And this one Void Ray is going to have a field day. He's like, yeah! Yeah! Ooh, wait a second. That's a lot of roaches. <laughs> There's a second roach. No, this Where are the sentries? This Nexus is going to be cancelled. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Max said unwilling to send his units out. So uh, Ghost is going to donate a couple of roaches to the cancellation of this Burrow. Nexus. Maybe Burrow. Oh, he's doing that pretty nice. At the same time, we have Phoenixes being active on the other side of the map, picking off a queen. But still, that's, uh, you know, 
I am not sure if that was necessary for Maxi to lose that Nexus like that, man. You know, it's tough. It's that whole same same situation. <coughs> Excuse me. That whole same thing we say when, when Maxi doesn't have perfect information. You know, if he runs out yeah. and gets surrounded, then all of a sudden he's hating his life. Of course, but uh, you know, knowing what we know. Yeah, knowing what we know, he had an army that could have dealt with that, uh, yep. with both Force Field Immortals and Void Rays. And he had one Immortal out there, but he could also, like, for instance, use the Phoenix's defense lead, and you pick off four Roaches immediately, or not pick them off, but at least take them out of the battle. Uh, these Phoenixes have been uh -oh. doing a pretty damn good job, though. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, don't do uh -oh. that, Max. Uh, this is bad, man. This is really bad. Four Phoenixes is so expensive. And once more, these Phoenixes could have still paid for themselves. They are excellent in defending against... Uh, are are uh. these Immortals trapped, by the way? No, they're not. Kevin, I think... Everything was going okay for Ghost User until I looked at the income tab, and I see that he's only now crossing the 50 drone mark. Yeah, but because those Phoenixes were... Yeah. Uh, you know. It killed, uh, I guess, about 13 drones in total. Um, but that... Oh, gosh. Uh, you, this, is the f this is the stage in the game where Ghost User wants to be banking money for his hive tech. He wants to I be know. able to make four Vipers at once while he's maxed out. But that's because the, the early game has been so different. Yeah. And if you just tune in, you're probably wondering, like, hmm, well, like, why are they in the situation they are right now? I do like this, by the way, but just take that yep, fourth base. You might lose it eventually, but that's something that he's really going to need. Ooh. Oh, I love it. I love it. There's a... Hidden Roach. Crushing Roach. Can't, I can't wait till these uh, potential patch changes oh go through, God. and these Roaches are fast. Can't wait until Dark Templars blink on top of them and slice them in half. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. They're basically going to have blink. Um, this uh, Nexus will once more be cancelled, but it's going to be at the cost of a lot of roaches. Yeah, but not that many, actually. I clicked on the huh. Observer, guys. That's why my camera jumped away, because I was like, is the Observer with the army? No, it's not. It might be in this game, slow, but steady. It's starting to slip away from Maxat. I, I, you know, it's still a very okay position, don't get me wrong. But this base band could have been up and running for five minutes now, or at yeah. least it should have been up and running now. Uh, yeah. He's on 61 probes, sure, that's, that's really cool against 65 drones, but you're on two bases, man. He's been on two bases for so long, too, that his main's going to be mined out, so he's not really ever going to have three base. Um, however, Ghosty User's economy still isn't that great, Kev, and I, I'm worried that he's going to get one good army, and he's never going to be able to replace it. Uh, in fact, we already see him bolstering his army with Zerglings, and uh, that's what Zerg players only do when they're broke. You don't see Roach Hydra Ling because it's good. You see Roach Hydra Ling because you can't afford 200 supply of Roach Hydra. Mm -hmm. The moment you see Zerglings, that's kind of like when, when Protoss start w uh, wiping in Zealots against Roach Hydra, and they don't have charge, you know? yeah. and there are no Void Rays <laughs> to support them. Well, I guess I can warp in some Zealots. Uh, yep. uh, I don't think the Ghost user should get aggressive, though. Like It's very really cool that he canceled this base multiple times, but... He does not have an army that can fight this army. Correct. Not against those force yep. fields. Not until he has vipers can he really yep. engage this army. He has five infestors, and you know, maybe he's dreaming of fungos, but uh, not even in Hotel uh, Oh my god, those roaches are going to get trapped. Uh, this is the worst fight Ghost User could hope for, I think. No, I'm, I'm pretty I sure. I think. Ben. We'll see how these infested Terrans do. There are a lot of them out on the map. I don't and think you have dying to think it very is for fast sure. To the Colossi. Oh, Mike. <sighs> With your hive halfway done, I can't help but feel like that was a catastrophic mistake. Yeah, and if we look at his money, we can see exactly what we were talking about. He just can't afford to replace that army. You know, Maxed was on two base for a very long time, but at the 17-minute mark, you can have a very reasonable amount of Void Rays and Colossus of two bases. Hell, at the 17-minute mark, MC showed us you can have a pretty reasonable one-base army. <laughs> <laughs> yep, at least good enough to win. Well, that army wouldn't have done very well against this one, as that was Blink Stalker against Void Ray, but... Uh, yeah, Maxed is going to march across the map right now, and I'm afraid that this is not something that uh, Ghosty user can possibly deal with. Man, yeah. we see more roaches spawning, but uh, I'm afraid it's uh, it's all a little too late. Yeah, oh, no. He was he was cr he was really starting to claw his way back yeah. into it. I was trying to like kind of like his position, but that attack was. If he had gotten four vipers out, then mm. you know maybe we're looking at a different situation. But unfortunately for Ghosty user.